pass mina, write down this formula. This is about computing average using frequencies. It's also called weighted average. Once you enter your data, these are your x values, these are your frequencies. Pay attention to the frequency means that score repeats how many times. In finding ordinary mean, we'll simply add x values. We ignore frequencies. That is wrong. When frequencies are given, you must not ignore frequency. See, 10 divided by something would have been ordinary mean. But in reality, we should multiply frequency times the score, zero times three. Learn how Excel does it. Equal sign is important, and I drag it. So it will do it for every row. So now, or to sum, n, the frequencies added is n, which is 59, right? And then now we add all the sum of x values. So add all the numbers in column C. Now Excel also is a calculator. Put equal sign and then take that number and divide by this number, that's your average. Get it? Round it to two decimal places. This average, I just showed you, it, it can be used for your frequency example. Okay? GPA. Zero means you got an F. One means you got a D. Two, two means C. Three means B. Four means A. 59 credit hours you have finished. In about 10 courses, each three credit, you have finished 30 credits. All of them are C. This is the meaning of this data set. No wonder GPA is 1.84 here. Most of the grade is 0, 1, 2. Almost 75 credit hours. No, no, 45 plus 48 credit hours out of 59 is as below C, so no wonder the grade, grade is below 2. So this is an application of weighted average. Please learn. Another application is about weighted average, how I define your course average. See, for example, Hawk is worth 50% means 0.5 is a frequency. Or you can make it 50, but they usually make it decimal. Canvas is uh, 0.4, 40%. Final exam, 10%, 0.1. Attendance is 2%, 0.02. And uh, bonus is 1%, 0.01. Then this is your score. Your actual average end of the semester is 80 on Hawk, 70 on uh, this one. And then you multiply and add the frequencies. This is another way to find your course average, you get it? So it's another application of weighted average of frequency mean, get it? Sometimes students come and ask me, what if I get this and this, what would be my grade? If you write your Excel spreadsheet, go and change your score, uh, the one I gave you like this, and change different numbers. See how your number comes up differently. See, if some people don't want to take final, they put zero there, and then what if I get 80 on the final? What if I get 75 on canvas? Blah, blah, blah. So you keep play around, and your Excel will automatically tell what your average is. Uh, if you need me help, please come and talk to me.